Hey, what's up? So, sad news. I failed my license test for the third time yesterday. Um, and to, here's my advice for people who haven't taken, or who have failed, or who haven't taken it yet, actually. Um, I live in Massachusetts, um, and our drivers are known as massholes. And this is because every driver on the road is an asshole. And... I have now been driving for about three years, on and off, like, not enough to, like, I don't know, be a professional driver, but I know how, I know the rules of the road, apparently not. I know the mass hole rules of the road. I know what I need to do to get from point A to point B without people honking and tailgating and everything else. Tip. Don't fall into that peer pressure. Follow every law there is until you get your license. Like, I'm talking if you have your permit for six months, a year, two years, three years. Keep following the rules until you get your license. And that's why they make you do driver's ed hours when you're under 18, because they want you to know all the rules and follow the rules. Like, you know, those annoying hours with the people that you don't know and, like, the kids in the backseat judging you. Just follow the rules. I got it in my head that, well, I'm just more comfortable driving when other people aren't on my ass or that kind of stuff. So that's my problem. I don't follow the rules. I failed this license test because driving down a highway, one lane, not it's not a highway, the speed limit's like 30 miles an hour, and 35 maybe, uh, a person, two-way traffic, a person was turning left across the right lane and I had enough room on the shoulder to pass them, and I was just here practicing the other day, and whenever I made a left turn, people kept passing me, and I was like, all right. Um, so just seeing, I, you can't learn by example in Massachusetts, because if you do that, you'll fail. You'll not follow the rules. I drove like a regular driver yesterday. The first two tests, I admit I deserved to fail, but this one, I was driving just like everyone else on the road, and I don't know, I'm just kind of pissed. Now I'm going to college in a week, and I have to decide if I want to schedule another test for like the middle of September when I won't have time to practice and I'll be stressed out with everything in college, like trying to get to know people and that kind of stuff. I kind of just want to drop it for now, but I know I'm a good driver now, I just know that I have to study more more the rules, like, exactly. And I can't take it in the next two weeks at the same place, because they're already booked. And I don't think they're taking as many because of the construction that's going on. So I'm just, like, done. Because I was laying here, um, I don't even know if I told you guys, I thought it was today. I thought it would have been going on right now, but it was actually yesterday. So 1 a.m. I checked my, like, time, and I was like, my driver's test is in eight hours. So I, like, I was already freaking out, but I had decided. I was like, you know what? I'm a good driver. I got this. I know how to drive. I've been driving. And it's not like I'm a danger to people on the road. I mean, clearly they think I am, but I'm not. And I'm driving this tiny-ass car. Only person I could possibly ever do damage to would be a person on a motorcycle. But honestly, I'd get pulled over for driving too slow, not running into a motorcycle. At least that's what I think. Maybe my parents have a different idea, because now they're telling me... After I pulled an all-nighter last night, because I'm trying to fix my sleep schedule, my parents decided to say, You know what? We should have been coaching you more. And it's like, you guys were telling me I'm a good driver... Like, you can't just do that when I'm not an actual good driver. So I'm just completely lost at this point and kind of want to bury my head in the sand like a whatever it is. Ostrich? That's probably what I'll do. Okay.